No, bitch, I am not pregnant. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode one of the new series revamp on my channel. I am April from Living in Her Own Lane, and today's topic, I'm going to discuss how and why I am starting this new series called Revamp, so stick around. So I got this cute little mug that says it's been a long day with a wiener dog um, for Christmas from one of my best friends, and I love it. But anyhow, we're going to have some coffee. This is my second coffee of the day. I just got home from work. So I'm going to drink my coffee and talk to you guys about the how and why I am starting this new series, Revamp. If you have not watched the intro to this new series, I'll leave it up in the card up above and I'll leave it in the description down below. But basically, Revamp is all about my new health and wellness journey. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. I'm pretty nervous about it. And today I'm going to talk about my how and my why. So you have to have a strong why to be doing anything, any type of journey, any type of path that you are going on. You really need a why. You don't want to just be going on these random journeys or these random things if you really just don't want to be doing them. Uh, so you're, you want to have a really strong why and your why is very unique. It's not going to be uh, the same as pretty much anybody's because it's tailored to you. And no matter how silly you think it is or how dumb other people think it is, it's your why and only yours. So. I challenge you if you're going to be taking this wellness journey with me or you're on your own, I challenge you to share down below your why on why you're starting it. Your why is important because motivation and inspiration is going to wear off and you're going to need your why as the backbone to push through the hard times because it's going to get hard. It is going to be hard. And you need that why to keep yourself in check of why you started in the first place. So my why to starting this new health and wellness journey is because I want to feel better in my own skin. And I want to feel good naked and I want to feel good um, in my clothes and in my own skin and I just want to feel better about myself. So it's a little bit of, I want more self-confidence. I want more, um, I want to be able to take a full body picture and be like, oh yeah, that outfit looks great. Instead of, oh, uh, it looks like I'm pregnant. <laughs> um, and I laugh about that because in the last year I have had numerous, numerous people coming up to me and saying, oh my God, when are you due? No, bitch, I am not pregnant. <laughs> so my response is, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not pregnant. Thank you though, just fat. <laughs> so I'm tired of people thinking I'm pregnant. And by the way, that is rude. So don't ever just walk up to a random person and be like, oh, how far along are you? What are you having? No, that's rude. And it's none of your business. So keep in your own lane. Living in your own lane. Um, I've had the last encounter, I've actually had them touch my belly after I've told them, no, I'm not pregnant, I'm just fat. They touched my belly and said, oh, well, that looks pretty much like a baby bump. I know I'm just lying. Like, <laughs> oh, it's crazy. Um, so I would like to not have those comments anymore. That would be nice. Um, I'm also doing this because I just want to get healthier. Uh, I My diet sucks. That's the first thing. And I probably need a multivitamin because I'm getting older. 
and that's another thing I'm getting older so I'm feeling more sluggish and tired and run down and not being able to keep up with my life I'm I'm finding that halfway through my day I want to sleep um, so just I want to keep up with my life so that's my why I just want to look good naked <laughs> so on to the next thing I have tried to diet and exercise and lose weight in the past if you have been around you've known that this that I've tried and failed multiple times and um, the reason for that is because I go into this and I'm like oh I'm gonna work out and I'm gonna eat good and I'm gonna change this and I'm gonna change that and I'm gonna start all these new habits and I'm gonna just I have a whole list of things that I need to do today to start this whole journey and that's unrealistic so you get so overwhelmed with all these things that you want to change or need to change and then you just don't do it because you're crazy yeah you go crazy so this time around I know that I know that's where I fail is because I put too much on my plate and then my plate breaks and everything falls to the ground and I just scrap it all and say forget about it so this time I'm breaking it down I'm bringing it down into my nutrition and I'm making lists on different ways to work out and multivitamins and I'm researching those and when should I add those and water and all that but I'm starting slow so I'm changing one habit in a two week period so in two weeks I will change my water I need to drink eight to ten ounces eight to ten eight out eight ounce you know what I mean I'm just to drink that amount of water um, so I'm gonna start with water and then the next two weeks I'm gonna continue with the water but I'm gonna add multivitamins and then the next so it's gonna like habits are gonna piggyback on each other and it's going to create a lifestyle that's another thing that the reason why I keep failing is it's a lifestyle this is something that's permanent uh, it's a daily thing and I wasn't treating it as so I was treating it as a temporary fix or a quick fix or oh yeah 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 I'm gonna get on that instead of making it a lifestyle choice and a mindset so there's my why and there is my how but the number one most important thing in this whole entire journey is just to start just take the jump just jump in and start somewhere because moving slowly is better than moving at like zero staying on the couch and doing nothing about it um, so as long as you're moving that is the, the one foot in front of the other the take the first step jump off the cliff um, so yeah just keep moving forward and also it's all about mindsets so this is this wellness and um, fitness journey is very much mental too because you could psych yourself up and fail before you even started because I've did that too <laughs> so this time is gonna be different and I hope that you will continue to come along on my journey and see where we go from here uh, so yeah I'm going to be sharing those habits that I'm going to be starting I'm going to document this journey and I'm going to be real open and honest about it because there's times that I'm going to want to quit and there's times that I'll fall off the bandwagon because we're all human but that's an, that's another thing why I quit and I'm sure you quit too in the past is because you get like you get you you go so good for a few days and you fall off the wagon and you're like oh well might as well just throw in the towel and not get back on this time I'm gonna get back on you get thrown off you get back on you show up who's boss girl or boy whoever's watching this and yeah that's what I'm gonna do so next week I am going to show you my nutrition part of the journey and how I'm going to do that because they say in your weight loss journey um, 80% of losing weight is your nutrition and made in the kitchen so if you could get that part 
under control, then the rest will follow. So next week we're going to talk about all of the meal stuff and food stuff and things that I'm going to be using to track all that. So stick around. Come on back next Thursday. Tell me your, that's my cats. They're, they're killing each other, whatever. Um, leave it down in the comments down below. Uh, your why and your how and your tips and your tricks on your own wellness journey. See you guys next week. Bye.